this video, I'm going to show how you can install a XFCE desktop um, on your Raspberry Pi OS. So, what this will do, it, it just makes it more lightweight, so it should run better. It's uh, um, so I'm just going to be testing out some apps. Um, I'm I'm going to first show how to install it, and then I'm going to be testing out some stuff on it. So first of all, uh, I made I made this little text document to how to know how to do it. These will be in the description. So we're just going to install this um, command right here. So just copy, paste, enter. Then when prompted, hit Y. And just, this will take a few minutes, so just wait for it. So as you see now, it's done. So now I can just do my next command. So this command is going to allow us to switch between. So it didn't totally totally wipe the system. So whenever you want, you can come back to this stock Ras Ra Raspberry Pi OS look. Or you can switch to uh, XFCE. So you just paste this command in the terminal. And then look right here, you see... For me, it's 6. 6 says uh, XFCE. So I just um, type 6 and I hit enter. And it are now, so if I do a reboot, it's going to boot into um, EXFC. So I'm just going to go sudo reboot. So you see I rebooted and it looks totally different. So I'm just going to go with use default config. So you see I got this little... Um, bar right here at the bottom applications i mean uh so we can go to um desktop settings there's some different wallpapers here here's the web browser it's chromium so like So you see, so I also saw this by Jack477 who made Commander Pi, a thing called Dynamic Wallpaper, and it says for um, XFCE, so I thought I would try it out. I've never tried it before. So uh, he has a Google Drive link right here. So I'm just going to download it. So you see I downloaded it, it's a zip file, so I'm just hit, gonna click on it, and I'm just gonna extract all of them into my downloads. But you're supposed to put all of them in your uh, Pi directory, so just take it and put it in there. Um, and also rename it, so take away that that one right there. And then just go into it, as you see, right click open terminal here, then there's a readme.txt, and we need to do what it says right here. Just copy these commands from the place, and paste it into the terminal. So, copy, oops, I didn't get all of it. Copy, paste, enter. So it's just going to install some stuff for us. So, yeah, so this didn't work for me. I couldn't get it to work, so if anybody got this to work, um, they could tell me from the comments of how they got it to work. I don't, I mean, the background changed to this blue, but I don't know, it's just giving an error for me, and I can't launch it, so. So, I don't know, um, so I couldn't get that to work, but I'll just show more of the operating system, so. 
I mean, it has this terminal. It's the same as our Raspberry Pi OS. Just there's some different applications that are in here. Plus, you can change the look of this easily. Um, like, you can make it look like a Mac OS or Windows. There's, You can Google it. Uh, so, we can also, if we go to YouTube. Oh, my internet went out for, for some reason. My internet went out, but okay. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you. So, now, if you want to go back to the Raspberry Pi OS look, just that same command that we used on the other place. Just copy it. Open up a terminal. Paste. And right here it says. Um, it says. St start LXDE. So. I mean no. That's not the one. Sorry. It's LX that session is the one we need. And that's at 1. So we just type 1. Enter. And then. Pseudo reboot. So it looks like I was wrong. I tried to go back, but uh, I mean, it's still it's LXDE, but doesn't look exactly the same. But so it's still good. So this is how to install XFCE um, look on your Raspberry Pi OS. So I will be reviewing some other ones. Like I'll try. Gnome, then I'll try cinnamon, mint, so don't miss those out. So, um, thanks for watching my video. I hope you like the video and I hope you subscribe.